Hello everyone. Today we will be doing a demo on how to set up ForgeRock as a third party key manager for API Manager 4.0. Some prerequisites for this are I will be running ForgeRock Access Management 7.0, which, which uses Java 11, and also with, this will be running inside Apache Tomcat 8.5. I will also be using API Manager 4.0. First, you need to create an OAuth 2 provider inside your ForgeRock UI. For this, log into your ForgeRock UI. Mine is running in localhost 8080 OpenAM. Go into the top level realm and go to services and click on add service. Here we can find OAuth 2 provider. Click on create. Then go to the advanced tab. Here first we need to fill in client registration scope whitelist. Here add default. Next subject type supported should be public. Default client scopes should be default. An OAuth2 token signing algorithm should be RSA256. Click on save changes. Next, we need to create an OAuth2 client. For that, go to applications or to clients then click on add client you can provide any client id and secret as you like i'm just going to provide wso2 apps for both and for the scopes you need to add the following two scopes And also for default scopes, the above two needs to be added. Next, click on create. In this under core section, you need to add a lifetime for this. Try to add a larger lifetime. Then click on save changes. Then go on to the advanced step. Here inside grant types, select client credentials and click on save. Those are all the changes you need in the OAuth client. Now, next move on to creating the key manager client inside API manager. Next, to add the API manager key manager client, you need to log into API manager admin portal and go to the key manager tab. Then click on add key manager. I will name this as ForgeRock and display name also as ForgeRock. For the key manager type, you need to select ForgeRock. Then the issuer URL. Note that all the URLs I am adding here is pointed towards the ForgeRock that is running inside my Tomcat. So next we will fill in the key manager endpoint. This is the client registration endpoint, the introspect endpoint, the token endpoint, and the revoke endpoint. These are the mandatory fields in the key manager endpoint section. Next, we need to fill in the JWKS URL. And 
finally we need to add the connector configuration here you can add the connector name you created inside ForgeRock. Mine was WSO2 and the client secret was also WSO2. You also need to specify the grant types that will be supported by this key manager client. I will be adding only client credentials. You can specify other grant types such as authorization code grant, password, etc. Now click on add. Now let's log on to the API Manager Developer Portal and create an application. As you can see, I have already published the default API. Let's go on to the Applications tab and create an app called App1. Now let's go into the API Details section and subscribe to this application. Now let's generate the keys. As you can see, there are two key managers here. One is the resident and the ForgeRock third-party key manager. Let's generate keys. Now the keys have been generated and application has been created on the ForgeRock site. Let's click on generate access token. Let's copy this access token and invoke the API. As you can see, we have written the API details successfully.